here's the deal with Street Fighter VI moving forward. We had a big discussion about this yesterday. I actually took in many people's opinions over the course of the last 24 hours, and I'd like to share with you everyone's thoughts. So we had this discussion yesterday on the Level 1 podcast. How do I continue to cover Street Fighter VI? Because there's two schools of thought. School of thought number one is, I'm a variety content creator. I should continue to keep picking new characters, playing for them for one big session, you know, and doing their basics and learning how they play, and then move on to another character until I get through all 18 characters. Now it's two weeks in, we've covered half the cast, okay? <clears throat> now, here's the thing about doing that. Would there be a variety of content continuing on the channel? Yes. Would you see different gameplay styles and different characters represented and would it be more interesting maybe to the outsider who's just watching Street Fighter VI for the first time? Yeah, probably it would. But when you're constantly switching your character and you're only playing them for a few hours at a time, you're not going to ever get better at the game or master anything. You understand? Like, basically what will happen is I'll get a taste for every character, which is great. You need to have an idea of what every character has capable in their movesets so you know essentially what's coming when they do those moves. You know what they are. At the very same time, though, there's no way I'm ever going to get much better at this game if I just keep picking new characters, picking new characters. And it's interesting because I got a couple different people who actually gave me some perspective on this in the last 24 hours. One person said the way that Maximilian Dude does it is he, when there's a new fighting game, has something he calls the week of. And so what he'll do is he'll pick a character and say, I like this character, I want to try them for this week, and this is the only character I'm picking in the game this week. So just deal with it. And he'll sit there and he'll go to the lab and practice with that character and then he'll go online and he'll try to get better with that character all week long. And then after the week is up, he feels like he's gotten enough of that character that he moves on to another one, okay? That makes sense, but at the same time, that makes sense for someone who's guaranteed to be playing this game for months on end. If I was committing to playing Street Fighter VI full term, full time for three, four months, then I could use each week for one character. The thing is... We don't know if I'm going to be doing that much coverage of Street Fighter VI. Right now, the game is hot. Right now, I'm really enjoying it. You're really enjoying it. But what's to say in another month or two that it's going to have that much interest? Again, I'm a variety content creator. There aren't that many people coming to this channel just to watch me play Street Fighter VI full-time. They want to see me do other stuff, too. I mean, that whole first week when I was playing Street Fighter VI so much, people were clamoring, where is Diablo? Where is Zelda? Where is other content? We're tired of Street Fighter, right? So... <clears throat> the way Maximilian Dude covers games and me is different. My audience is definitely different. I feel like if I picked one character, like let's say that I said this is going to be the week of Blanca, and all I did every day when I played Street Fighter Six was play Blanca, two streams in people would be complaining. Oh my god, he's still playing Blanca. I guarantee you they would. <clears throat> Again, we just have different audiences. That's okay. So, that's one thing that you know, I get it, and it makes sense for someone who's doing full-time coverage, but I don't know if it would work for me, okay? Now, another thing someone said <clears throat> is that most of the people who are considering themselves into the game and trying to get better, and they want to be pro at it, which I'm not, but the way that they're attacking the game is they're only selecting maybe two, maybe three characters tops, and they've essentially only used them. They labbed with them in training mode, and then they went online, and they're playing nonstop, and they're trying to find strategies with these characters, and that's their focus. They're not, they didn't do nine characters in two weeks like I did. <clears throat> Instead, they're just hyper-focused on two or three, and then later on, they'll probably adopt more characters and try them out, but for now, they're very, again, early game, they're very focused on a certain game plan, right? And you know, that makes sense to me. Here's why. When I used to be a pro game player back in the day, pro Street Fighter player, I had two or three characters that I focused on. In Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, it was Vega, Balrog, and DJ. <clears throat> those three characters essentially played very differently. All of them did. And because I had those three characters under my belt, in my repertoire, I could basically kind of hand handle any situation in the game. Whether I was fighting someone that was more defensive, more offensive, or a hybrid, I had something for every situation. You know, a lot of people say, why did you play DJ? He's only mid-tier. Because I was one of the best people using DJ in the world, it allowed me to actually have something that people didn't know how to counter because most people never fought DJ at a competitive level. And DJ was the character with a fireball that countered things that my Balrog and Vega couldn't because I had that kind of ranged gameplay. Do you see? <clears throat> so, that's why I did it that way. And that's why I feel like pros are doing it that way. They take two, three characters. Okay, these characters are canvassing 
all the gameplay styles of the game and I can alternate between them in a competitive setting and that's my focus, right? But for me, I've been very unfocused, right? I have nine characters in two weeks is a lot of stuff to cover and quite frankly, some of these streams, let's be honest, the Mano stream was kind of a waste of time. I didn't really get to learn that much and come to find out after I played with Mano, she's a character that you absolutely need to play at a high level with a lot of dash cancels and things. Without dash canceling being mastered, She's essentially a bad character. She doesn't have good setups for any of her stuff. It's all about getting a, a safe hit string into a dash cancel mix up. And after the dash cancel, now you have like an option select. Without dash canceling, basically nothing she does is safe or a good setup. And she gets stuffed all the time. Well, I didn't know that. So I'm playing with her and getting body, wondering what's going on. Why does nothing seem to work? Why is, why is everyone jabbing through everything I do? That's why. So characters play differently in this game by far. And. You know, the character like that probably isn't one that I'm going to do very well with. Did it really make sense to even play with her on that stream? Well, I'll say yes, it was. It, it did make sense because now at least I know what she's capable of. But at the same time, I doubt I'm ever going to go back, you know. I'm probably not going to be playing that character, right? Anyway, so after having talked with everyone in the last 24 hours and reading all of your comments, because a lot of people have comments on the videos, thank you for that. I've determined that what I think we should do is a hybrid. I don't want to every week be playing three new characters. I don't think, I think it's too much, okay? What I think we're going to do is every week we're going to do at least two major sessions of Street Fighter VI where it's just me picking the characters I've already used and trying to get better at them. So out of the characters that I've already used, I can tell you this. I like Blanca, and I want to get better with him. I've already seen some interesting setups and mix-ups with him in the corner and combos and stuff that look pretty neat. Um... I definitely like Lily, I like Dalsim, and I like Mano. Okay, uh, not Mano, excuse me. I like uh, Marisa. I think those characters are my play style. Now, I like <coughs> uh, Zangief, but at this point, I'm not sold yet that he's as good as I would like him to be in the game. I'm going to play with him some today and see. So he's a maybe, and also E Honda. When I played E Honda, I had no clue what I was doing, nor did anyone know how to counter his stuff. That was like the third day I played the game, if that. So now I feel like if I played E-Honda, it'd be a whole different ball game where I'm not going to have to learn hit strings and things that are safe because all I was doing was like headbutts and counter moves and I don't think that's going to fly if I pick Honda again. So, that's what I'm thinking. Blanco, Lily, Dalsim, Marisa, my four that I'm really focused on with a little bit of side note, I definitely want to play Zangief more and maybe Honda more. But I would say characters like JP, um, definitely not DJ, uh, you know, definitely not Mano. Those are characters that are going to be skips for me that I'm not too interested in, okay? So, what I'm thinking is I want to focus today on a multiplayer session where I'm going to play with Zangief and Marisa exclusively. I'll probably start off with Zangief, play with him for like an hour, hour and a half, and then switch over to Marisa and see how I do with her. I'd like to rack up some wins with these characters if possible, try to get my win-loss record a little bit better. Like I said, I actually watched a video or two of Zangief and saw some interesting things, like his his standing headbutt, which is forward and fierce punch, is a really good counter hit move. And if you hit it, it can sometimes counter to itself or combo to itself again. And then you can two and one. Uh, and it's also a good setup for mix ups. Like you can do that, lead that into like a, a, a spinning pile driver. Also, his low medium punch is great and leads to an easy combo into the EX Lariat every time. So there's a few things I'd like to try with him today. And Marisa, obviously, I was already doing good with Marisa yesterday. I'd like to continue on with that, try to get better with her today. So that's my goal today it's Zangief and Marisa. But then I'm off tomorrow. When I come back on Friday, what I'd like to do is a stream where maybe I pick the other characters again. Maybe I try Blanca again, and I try Lily again. And then maybe I do another stream later in the week where I try another two characters that I've already played. But <clears throat> I don't want it to just be me playing characters I've already used. So if there's time, and likely there will be, I'll probably take one stream in the next week where I will try a new character as well. But it's going to dramatically slow down with the amount of new character use. Because how am I going to learn the game if I'm picking three plus new characters a week and I'm only playing with them once? I'm, I'm never going to learn anything advanced to the game or get any better. I'm just going to constantly be at that entry level, right? 